Bird. She's making me be bad today. You stay warm, Tuxie. Don did put the van in the garage last night because um, that way the inside would be warmer this morning. Hey, Donnie. I don't have any traffic aware cruise control this no. morning. How am I going to make it to downtown? Uh, I don't know, sweetie. And mm. the gas cost us uh, $37.46. That's half of the electricity bill that Ruby uses per month. She's about 75 bucks a month. Yeah, I hear you. Love you. I love you too. Be See you in a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I have to pay attention more this yeah, morning. Yeah, pay attention. Gee, it seems so dark in here without the screen. I don't like it at all. I used to have an FM transmitter hooked up to the van so I could play stuff on my phone, um, you know, through the van's uh, FM, uh, unused FM channel. But that was horrible quality and I don't have it hooked up anymore. So Johnny and I are having to switch stations between, you know, commercials through the FM band. And uh, yeah, and 72 degrees in the van is like 85 degrees in Ruby. I mean, it's just like we've had to turn it down to 65 because we were just too hot. Well, I got to follow the porta potty most of the way into Garter this morning. I sure hope that's not representative of the rest of uh, my day. I am meeting up with Michelle this morning to go do our normal uh, weekly shopping. Connor will be with us today. He's uh, year round school and tracked out, so, should be a fun day. Well, it sure is noisier and more polluting to play my Pokemon in the morning. I guess I better get on down the road instead of sitting over here with the heat on. You flossing? Well, most days. I came down Main Street and saw the cop. Pulled into South Park, played Pokemon, saw the cop come by with his speeder. Well, the van wasn't in super bad shape, but I did go ahead and make sure it was all vacuumed up for our shopping trip today. Well, I have to say I've had a big grin on my face, a big smile at Elon's little uh, dance routine over at the uh, Gigafactory Model 3 to the Chinese customers event that was held yesterday. It was, uh, it was pretty exciting. So if you haven't seen Elon in a good mood and dancing, you really must go find a clip and watch. All right, here's another reason to miss Ruby backing out of the garage and no mirrors tilted down to see better. I can see, but I got to work harder to see. Michelle should be here any minute. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ruby's friend, the black Model X is here. And it's making me miss Ruby even more. Michelle doesn't know that I don't have Ruby, she's gonna be like, what? Good morning. <laughs> yeah, I have blue today, that's right. So you gotta help me. Okay. I'm gonna need help with remembering to lock the doors, <laughs> leave with the key, uh -huh. and uh, if I turn on the lights because it's raining, to turn them back off, oh, okay? Lord. At the very least, so you're gonna help today, right? I'll, I'll probably forget and be waiting at the door waiting for it to open up. <laughs> So where's my boy? I thought we had Connor today. He has a play date. So Aww. I took him this morning. Okay. So we don't hear whining. Oh, he doesn't ever whine. <laughs> well, I think Johnny will at least for sure enjoy the uh, steamroller. Onward. Well, we didn't realize, but everything is currently 10% off. Today's the last day, except for furniture, which is 25% off. So... A good day to shop here <laughs> potentially at least if there's stuff we want wow that is some serious bikes so what do you think all of the kids that got new bikes for christmas the old bike ended up at guardian angel that's what i'm thinking well that didn't take us long very cool 
all I have in here so far is um, the hand towel and the little um, oven mitt. Shall we throw Don a curveball and get some Corel square plates? Michelle is figuring out what we're going to do for lunch today, which country we're going to go to. <laughs> and um, my goodness, there's a line of cars and it's raining. I'm going to go to Everest Nepali Kitchen. Let the Oh, I can't do that. That's right. You're going to have to plug it in on your phone or call out the directions to me, one of the two. I'll use my phone. So having the van and parking close came in handy there. But I tell you what, God, it's a whole process of things you have to do before you can exit the car. I mean, for goodness sakes, with Ruby, even if you get up and you don't put her in park, she puts herself in park automatically. Michelle ordered a mango yogurt drink, and it's yummy. So this is the appetizer platter that Michelle ordered. She's making me be bad today. Goodness gracious, Michelle, what are you trying to do to me, girl? This is yellow lentil, chicken masala, and buttered chicken, and some fried vegetable thing. <laughs> Michelle ordered. It's all her fault. <laughs> she ordered. <laughs> the yellow lentil is excellent. Michelle and I have waddled our way into Guardian Angel Apex. That was such a good lunch. We recommend Everest. We do. It was good. So my strategy for parking the van is wherever I can pull forward since I don't have a backup camera and I really can't see kind of hurts my neck to turn as hard as I have to to see good so and then my key fob doesn't work it hasn't worked for a long time it needs a new battery and it also won't stay closed it's kind of cracked open it has a rubber band on it <laughs> you know those things are really expensive and you know when I drive it once a month it's okay but today when I've had to lock it forgotten to lock it you know the drill I guess I'm going to be talking to Don about trying to put a new battery in it. Little cups, uh, let's see, I'll take both the chocolate, get two of those, and then two green, and then two of the tiramisu, and then two of the cream. So we're looking pretty keto, yeah. Lots of meat, a little bit of veggie, rotisserie chicken, my favorite cashier. <laughs> Yeah, tell Ariel I said, hey, she's Olaf, you said, yes. in the middle school play. Very exciting. I may have to come in, I may have to come in April and watch. Yes, you will. Let me know when it is. I will. All right. My star is born. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, Michelle had to be back uh, in time to go pick Ariel up today. It's just around the corner, though. Hello. Hey. How are you? Okay, you? I'm good. I love it when you hop out here when you hear the driveway alert go off. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I saw Mr. Don took a picture at Union Station, but did you guys get to see the Proterra buses? No. No? No, nope, they weren't there. They weren't there. Well, they were really um, tight-mouthed about what time they thought they'd be on display. So, bummer. Raleigh's implementing two electric buses. I think by the end of the bus, end of the bus, end of the month, and they were supposed to be on display at the new train station today. So the, the guys dropped by after school, but I guess that didn't work out. Well, I'm sure you and I will notice them on the street. Because Probably. if anybody would notice it when we went past it, it would be you. <laughs> So, Johnny and I are here at Raleigh Union Station. There's Johnny. Um, they got some nice benches and restrooms and stuff. We asked the man down there underneath that big clock um, where the bus was, and he said, of course, we came in the wrong end. He says, if it's still here, it's down those steps right there. So, we're heading over Over there. the steps, they've got a nice little uh, bar here that has uh, places where you can plug your computer in. And work. It's kind of a nice, nice view. I don't see a coffee shop though. It's like this place needs a coffee shop. So they've got a little Raleigh on Wheels exhibit here. Shows carts and stuff. No kids roller skates, but I don't see no skate key. Cars. Yeah, I'm surprised they put a skateboard in there because they're very anti-skateboard. So we've went out the door 
and uh, we're walking underneath the track I think I think this uh, pretty serious looking piece of uh, metal steel here yeah I guess it could be a um, road I, I can't tell uh, I guess it's a car track for traffic still no sign of a bus Yeah, Johnny's gonna go look up the stairs. I'm. You can go up there, buddy. I got a feeling we're SOL. There's some of those uh, bicycle Citrix that you have to dock. In other words, you you rent those and you're charged until you put them back in one of these docks, and the docks are around the town. And then there's the scooters. I don't think Johnny found the bus. I think we're out of luck. The paper was wrong. It wasn't today. It was yesterday. The guy said it was, he thought it was yesterday. So my back is to West Street here. And like I said, there's the scooters. But they got this really nice park. They got some serious steel structures here. Don't know how much shade that would give you in July. But we're going to assume that the architect had some useful function for all that steel and just didn't put it up there because it looks uh, good so Johnny and I have guessed that this is probably where the bus was those uh, ballards there are, are in their down position and the bus was probably right up there behind that little tree between the building that's that's a really nice wide display uh, display area I could definitely see how you could hold a little speech up here you know stand up on this platform or something like that and the people they could mill around over here so this is probably where it was okay there at the Christmas tree is where we were and went down the steps and right here is the track and uh, it's kind of hard to see but there's all that steel bridge that Johnny and I walked under so that's definitely a railway not a vehicle I didn't know I could figured by the amount of steel it was in that bridge that it was way heavier than what a car would have required. So we're parked over in that lot and you can see the plank train platform. We've been inside this building that's where we were standing when we made our video and so we're gonna go up these steps to the observation uh, deck and we're gonna take an observation and see what we can see. I gotta say I like all this galvanized steel railings and stuff. These folks they bought some steel when they built this place. And this is the observation deck. Ooh, way cool. I don't know what that is. Kid, she's going to love that turret up there. So anyway, these are the train uh, tracks. Um, and that's the platform. Now, it's my understanding the original platform, the wood platform, they saved it from Raleigh uh, Union Station that was here, you know, back in, you know, let's say 1875 or whatever. And they saved all that wood. I read an article in the paper and they're putting it up at some museum, a uh, railway museum, and they're going to set up the platform like it was. Another side of, of this is the passenger tunnel that I, we, Johnny and I pretty much think it takes you across over to uh, that platform underground. Well, you'd be proud of me and Johnny we figured out how to operate this machine. It only took me two tries. I have to say it's solar powered. I want to say one more time that I am totally sold on this um, egg cooker. Uh, it does six hard-boiled eggs at a time, and it takes about 16 minutes to hard-boil six eggs, and then about another 15 minutes to uh, cool them, crack them, and make the um, deviled egg mixture. And uh, these were requested by Johnny tonight, and I was happy to oblige. Easy peeling, and this was a dozen eggs I brought home from Whole Foods today, because Don is going to go to the farm and pick up uh, more eggs tomorrow.